What we're going to deal with at this moment or today are four distinctly American rhythms. Now, let's start with the Charleston. The Charleston is perhaps one of the oldest of all these beats, and it was used mostly in dance. So you play for me uh, the Charleston, if you please, Devin. Right. Now, this rhythm would be the precursor to rap as well, because you used to use, use, use poetry, like, I went around the world, around the world, to see my girl, and where was she? And then I went to the home one day, and all of a sudden, we started to play. And so that was an early rhythm. Now, shuffle was the, one of the earliest rhythms used with what we call rhythm and blues. Um, Sean, if you please. Some of the great uh, rhythm and blues people like Fats Domino and folks like that. You know? I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. On Blueberry Hill. On Blueberry Hill. Now that was the earlier, the earliest rhythms that were used in rhythm and blues. Now, also, if you've listened to uh, rock very carefully, you will hear both of these rhythms inherent in it. Now, I'm going to play A rock B. Here we go. Now, you play your shuffle, your, your shuffle again. to hear the tailgate and the tailgate is inherent is is in all the rhythms you'll hear that let's go uh Scheherazade one two three four now the next beat is the swing beat which is a beat that's predominantly used in jazz music we're going to play this a little bit faster and I just want Scheherazade and um Pierre ready one two one, two, three, four. That is the basic jazz beat. Now, we're going to add the shuffle to this, and we've also add the Charleston. Okay, everybody. Each of Max's four limbs makes a layer of rhythm. How many layers of rhythm can ten fingers make? <laughs> 